little mix up. <laughs> the guy who we bought the flights from was actually working for a big company and he was doing some kind of dodgy business. And we paid the 300 pound thinking that that was flight and hotel and actually he'd used the company's card to pay. Yeah, so we, <laughs> we ended up, we was in Runaway Bay. Yeah, Runaway Bay is nice. I got, <laughs> so it gets interesting. We was in Runaway Bay. The first night we ended up in Montego Bay and we stayed in this hotel and I remember we landed, it was dark. So I couldn't see anything. Everyone telling me about Jamaica, Jamaica. What I found really strange is when I stepped off the plane, I swear I could smell food. It's, that's, that's, I could smell this, this, you know, this smell that I smell in my mum's house on a Sunday, but it was just so, when I think about it, I can almost smell it now. It's just so vibrant. And then I was shocked that there were so much black people. I've never seen so much black people in my life. I was, I was like, my God, I'm British. What is going on? Why is there so many? Well, I was absolutely shocked. And then I had to think, Judy, you're black. Why are you so shocked? And it made me realise, you know, where I live, obviously, it's a predominantly white, um, you know, country, but you don't really realise it until you step out. Um, and it made me realise how much of my own culture and identity I didn't really know. So the fact that I could step up a plane and be so overwhelmed by seeing so many black people.